Flexible dieting. It is the new kind of diet where you can eat pizza, ice cream, donuts, and beer in unlimited amounts and still have all the results you want. You can still burn fat, you can still build muscle, and you can still make those gains. But is that really true? The answer is absolutely not. There is a huge, huge misconception going about because of what flexible dieting looks like on social media. Here's the thing, you guys. Everybody is posting pictures of their flexible foods on social media. So you go on there and you see these people that are ripped, lean, and muscular and jacked. And they're posting pictures of donuts, pizza, and ice cream all the time. And you're wondering, what the heck is this person doing? The truth of the matter is, you guys, those foods you see are a very, very small portion of what they actually eat. It might not even be a daily flexibility for them. It might just be every other day, something like that, where they're getting those foods in. But that's what they post, because nobody wants to see the chicken, the rice, the broccoli, the salads, the fruit, the banana. Nobody cares about those things. Nobody's trying to see that on social media. They want to see the things that are interesting, so that's what gets posted. So that's an important thing for all of you out there to realize. Flexible dieting works but it does not work in unlimited amounts. You have to track macros. You have to eat the right calories and the right macros for your goals. If you're trying to burn fat, you have to be in a caloric deficit. If you're trying to build muscle, you gotta be in a caloric surplus. But either way, these things are monitored and they are tracked. They are not random free-for-alls with every food you could ever imagine. So get that misconception out of your head right now and understand that you gotta track and you gotta fit those foods in your macros. Everybody that does flexible dieting, including me, takes the foods they want and fits them into their daily goals. So whatever the goal is, you have to fit those foods into that day's goals, otherwise the day is basically gone. You lost the chance to make any gains that day, you lost the chance to do results, and if you keep that trend going, you're gonna be in a very unpredictable place that you don't wanna be. Whereas, if you actually fit the foods into your goals, you guys, you can have those foods and you can still have the results. So don't think that there's no limit to what the amount of foods you can eat. And also understand that it's a very, very small portion of the day. It's Coach Ryan, and I'm out.